What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode of Dust Bowl. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and try to survive, scavenge, and otherwise thrive in the wasteland. If you don't know what Dust Bowl is, it's a post-apocalyptic point-and-click game with like an RPG combat system. I played the first little chunk of the game and it seemed to be very, very interesting and I've been excited about it ever since I saw it on Steam. I don't think a lot of people are going to be covering it because it's kind of one of those under-the-radar games, but given the proper handling... I think this game could wind up somewhere, I'm not going to say like Neo Scavenger, but I think this game could definitely develop a cult following someday, if really it gets the exposure that it needs, and so I figured we would do a quick playthrough. Let's play it. New game! We gotta pick our face right now. So yeah, the game is a post-apocalyptic survival simulator. Think Fallout 2 meets Stalker meets Point and Click, I don't know, meets Quest for Glory. It's, it's an interesting little game. It's got a lot of stuff. I'm going to go with this guy right here, because obviously... He's looking super, super ready for the apocalypse. He's got the hair, he's got the beard. It all looks like it's coming together. We get to choose what we want to do. We could be a scrounger, a survivor, or a humanitarian. I think that just changes our starting loadout. I don't know. Scrounger's by default, but it seems like it'd be smarter to bring something along with me. Let's bring survivor. How about that? How does that sound? And then he needs a name. How many letters do I have available? I don't have that many. So, we'll name him Wiskoki. There we go. And so now that he's been named Wiskoki, we'll go ahead and start the game on normal difficulty. I don't like to play things on permadeath, especially if it's a blind playthrough, which a lot of mine are, because I find that's the best way to keep myself surprised by things that happen in the storyline. This game is narrative-driven for the first little bit. I don't know if that falls off once we get further into the game, but there are a lot of quests and conversations to be had. I do think people are going to like this game. I've been excited about showing off, but I've been thinking about it for about two weeks now, and I think that this one's going to do well. I'm... I'm hoping anyways. I'm hoping because it would look like a game that I would sit and play in my own time. So let's go ahead and play the game on normal, shall we? When the visitors arrived, everything changed. Our skyline was dominated by silent disks that loomed over our heads, their intent unknown. In time, we grew complacent to these floating objects as they lay dormant. Three months after their arrival, the visitors made their attack. The governments fell silent debating their next course of action, but our end had been decided long ago. They had come for our resources. Dust fell from the UFOs like ash, deforming all that inhaled it. For most, it was too late, but some of us survived. As the world crumbled, a new society grew from the underground ruins. The surface was now a grave. When the dust settled, those who had made it through the nightmare left their holes. Life was now simple in this mutated world. Scavenge or die. Well, gentlemen, you both know why you're here. It's the earthquakes. They're getting stronger, aren't they? Not only that, West. They're more frequent. I'm worried. Things are changing. The last quake almost shattered the underpins holding the station together. Shit, man. The boys are repairing the damage, but another earthquake at that scale and the hub could be finished. We always thought they were natural occurrences until we found the epicenter. It came from the middle of the Dust Bowl. Oh, shit. Well, that's it. We're screwed, man. Take it easy, Cox. More. No one can get into the Dust Bowl. People have tried. Exactly. Everybody knows that the center's a mystery. All I care about is this base and the safety of those who live here. I think I can see what's coming. You want us to take a little hike? This is bullshit. There has to be a way into the Dust Bowl, and whatever's in the center has to be stopped. This is important, West. You're the only one that I trust. Think about your son's future. This is bullshit. Why are you listening to this, West? All right, Moore. What? It's a death wish. You're an old man, West. You go out there and you're as good as dead. I have to, Cox. You heard what Moore said. It's just a matter of time. I better pack for the waste. West. No one can know about this. But we'll start a goddamn panic, all right? I understand, Moore. I'll be leaving as soon as I'm able. Dad? What time is it? Wiskoki, go back to sleep. What's going on? What are you doing? I didn't want you to see this. See what? Why are you unpacking all your stalker gear? I have to leave the hub. It's important. What? 
When will you be back? You've not been outside in years. I wish I could tell you. Speak to Cox. You're in his care now. Dad, you just can't leave without telling me why. Please, don't make this any harder than it already is. I love you, son, and I'll be back. I promise. I need to find out what's going on. What mess is my dad in? Cox will know, and I have to find him. Okay, so let's start our adventure off by trying to find Cox. I think we'll go off, and I need to change the options real fast because it resets each time that you play. And the movement speed, I actually changed this already, but I don't think it saves. There we go. The movement speed is a little bit low. I'm one of those people that used to play Quest for Glory like on the maximum speed, so that you just zip all over the place because I have a low attention span. It's the only way I could get things done. My books, let's see what reading material we have. Some of my dad's survival books. If I'm going to make it alone, I should read a few. Okay. Right now? I mean, it doesn't look like we're reading it right now. What is this over here? Can I touch this mug? Can I touch this lamp? This is just our old oil lamp. I don't think there's any need to carry that about. Okay. What is this? A storage locker? There's nothing inside of it. It's a cherry can over here. Jerry can, Jimmy can, Billy can, Susan can. Whatever you want to call it. It's got five fuel inside of it, so we got two kilograms of fuel. And we've got... I don't know what that is. It doesn't say when you mouse over. We've got rags. And then we've got some old tools. Okay, so that'll be useful. I like tools. What's in the locker? Anything? Ah, what is that? Rice. It gives us 25 food and weighs 3 kilograms. So all of our stuff is down here at the bottom. We have status effects, so you'll be able to get armor and things like that later on. Armor to protect your face, your boobies, and your hands. You've got weapons, so I think you can deal critical damage. This is actually the spread of the normal damage that you deal, and then you get artifacts that do extra stuff. Sort of like in Stalker. It'll be kind of cool. We got jobs, which will be our quest log over here, and so we had to follow in our father's footsteps. Big footsteps to follow in, but I think it'll work out. On this side, you got some bars, which has our health, it has our water, and it has our food. We have the day and the time. So there it is. I have explained the HUD. Therefore, let us trudge forth. Let us trudge forth in our big manly boots and see what we can accomplish. What's in this way? How come we got a rickety ass? Wiskoki, are you alright? What's going on? I don't know, Charlie. Something big is happening. Everyone has been acting so weird after the last earthquake. People are scared. Do you see my father? Yeah, he looked real worried, dressed for the waste. He wasn't really going to the surface, was he? Yeah, last night he collected his things and left. He didn't say much. He had a council meeting with Moore, but he wouldn't tell me anything. I have a bad feeling about this. Have you seen Cox? That's an easy one. He was always at the Waypoint Canteen getting drunk. Why do you need to see him? My dad told me that I should. He said he'd keep an eye on me until he returned. This is serious, huh? It's not like your father. Yeah, I know. I need to find out the truth. Well, I'll be here if you need anything, okay? Thanks, Charlie. I better get going. Well then, everybody's looking for Cox today. Let's go off and that's like one of those sentences that you're like, really? We're going to start the series off like this, are we? So what does this do? Work, bench. Oh, we can craft some things. So we can make bandages if we have rubbing alcohol. So we have anti-poison. That's actually fairly literally named. We have five aptly named money. They aren't called anything else, just money. Energy drinks. So we get ten drink out of that. We can make electronics if we have all that stuff, but we don't. It actually looks like that's all that we can make right now. We got rags. We got, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You can make yourself... Tourniquets, you can make yourself bandages, you can make yourself, well, never mind, medical kits, hypos, tin grenades, repair kits, multi-tools. Some cool stuff up in there, but we'll check it out later. I don't know if there's going to be different workbenches that have more or less stuff. Hmm, I guess we'll have to find out. Let's see, how do I leave here? Yes. It looks like there's a close button up here somewhere, but it's not quite working. Ah, uh, you got to click the corner. Gotcha. I don't know. Maybe you click the edges. I'll figure out. I can hear snoring inside. I shouldn't enter other people's rooms. Well, maybe we shouldn't make our doors out of tarps. How about that? Doesn't seem the best way to stop incursions. I don't think we can actually fiddle with that. Can we pick up these? Ooh. Okay, so the background is like super interactable. There's little things all over the place that you can play around with. Yeah, it looks like you mouse and click the edges. Okay. What does that power box do? A junction box. It splits off the power across this section just in case you need more power. Oh, 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 oh. Go back in here. Nothing inside the crates. Just got to mouse over things to make sure that we're looking for stuff. Let's talk to Marky Mark. See what he's got going on over here with the funky bunch. My bunnies. I've lost all my bunnies. Where'd you put them down? 
I don't know. I put them down for a second, and then they were gone. Softy, Rabby, and Bunny. They'll be scared on their own. I need to find them. All right. Well, don't worry. I'll find them. You will? They have to be somewhere around here. Please find them as soon as you can. All right, kid. Don't worry. I'll find your bunnies. Hell yeah. Bunny hunting. Ooh, we get candy? A small child in the hub has lost his soft bunny rabbit toys. I should find and return them. Okay. This we're starting off with some mediocre quests. We're all doomed. You hear that? What's the point of clinging on to life? They think we don't know, but if another quake hits, then it's all over. We should all just head to the surface and give up. What's the point anymore? We'll be all right. Right, keep living in your bubble. You think more and the rest of the militia give a damn? The hub is a house of cards. A stiff breeze and the whole place turns to rubble. That's not good. The only rubble I like is in the Flintstones. Let's go, and there's a bottle over here. Yup, and they stack, so that'll be nice. Another energy drink, too. Obviously, that's not part of the public storage or anything. We're just going to take it. Gate control. I need militia papers to open the gate. Open the gate! There's more. In this situation, I would say that less is more, but I guess we got to talk to more first. I'm sorry for intruding. You must be busy. A captain's job is never done. What can I do for you, son? Why did my father leave the station? Look, I can't tell you that. It's hub business. Your father's work is vitally important for the hub's safety. you got to believe me. What could be so important? He'd served his militia time. I know how angry you must be, but it has to be like this. Your father is a very capable man. He'll be back, and I've seen him survive the unsurvivable. How long have you known my father? We're the same age, your father and I. We knew each other before everything changed. Weekend warriors. We were in the same National Guard unit. You won't know what that is, but I was the unit captain. We were good friends. Close. I knew about this station, so me and your family escaped here with other survivors. That's amazing, Moore. You knew my mother, too? I did, but that's another story. Please don't do anything stupid, son. I owe your father a lot, and I don't want you to get hurt. All right, thanks. I'm sorry for wasting your time. At least we got computers. That's pretty cool. Does it still have the internet? I mean, I think I could deal with the post-apocalypse if I could still jump up on Reddit every now and again. That's all that it takes. So maybe more was in that other room. I bet it's going to be locked off now. Let's go back up in here and let's check it out. Here's snoring from inside. Elevator controls. Oh, there's multiple floors. I'm already on floor one. Okay, well, at least it told me where I am. The waypoint bar. Trixie. I like aminals. Oh, it wags. Woof, woof. What a cute dog. I wonder who it belongs to. It belongs to me now. It's going to be inside my pocket. I'm going to pet its stupid face off. Just, ah, mega pets. Let's see. Jolie. Hey. Hey, what you doing? Just looking up. That's a big bug on your shirt right now. I don't know if you know that, but you might want to flick that or get it off of you. I don't know if it's violent. It's a sizable cockroach, though. Just looking about. Yeah, I like exploring, too. My name's Joe Lee. It's very nice to meet you, Joe Lee. My mom says that I'm always getting into trouble. Are you always in trouble? Nah, I just like exploring and collecting things. Sometimes I get a little bit lost. What kind of things do you collect? I love finding bugs. I got a big collection. They always die, but they still look pretty. That's a strange thing to collect. I'm always looking for new bugs to add to my collection. It's so big. Say, have you come across any in the hub? I think i found most, but I'm always looking. She wants a bug, huh? It looks like we get some stuff out of it, so I'll take the quest just in case. An assortment of vine vegetables. Wait, what did it say? It's making me hungry? No, that's the wrong reaction to vegetables. Vegetables should never make you hungry. Ooh, what is that? Rat on a stick? Ooh, rat on a stick. Just in case you wanted to get your rodent sustenance taken care of. Yuri, what do you have to say? I may still turn the speed up a little bit more. Why, hello, we rarely get visitors down here. Do you have an interest in horticulture? How may I help you? Just exploring. That's quite all right. This is the hydroponics bay. Most food comes from the surface, but it won't last forever. With subterranean farming, we can stockpile fresh food stuffs. I don't know if I want things classified as food stuff. That's a little bit too generic for me. I want it to be like food, comma, what type of food it is, like food candy, food steak, food stuff. Eh, I'm not a big fan of just shoving random stuff in my mouth. What do you grow here? All sorts. Take a look around. Split peas, tomatoes, peppers, but there's limits to what we can grow in such a small space. And now that the water's been cut due to that big earth movement, I'm worried. All right. Well, take it easy. Got to bounce on out. We don't have time for this conversation. Yeah, I'm going to make the movement a little bit faster. I don't know if it affects combat or anything like that. But I'm one of those people that's impatient when it comes to moving around, so you'll forgive me. It's a little bit better. Still a little bit slow. It doesn't increase by the integer that I figured it would. Seems a little better. Let's find this guy. We got a drunk man, we got a stranger, and we got cocks and stone. 
Alright, well, let's take the bottles. We've got an energy drink. We've got a soda. We've got a bottle right there. Looks like we had another one right there, but it won't let me take it. So let's talk to Cox. I didn't expect to see you down at the waypoint. Pull up a stool and have a drink. My dad's gone. What should I do? Now that's a question. Before your dad left, he told me to keep an eye on you, but you're a man. You're on your own, and who knows if your dad will return. You need to speak to Moore. Make yourself useful, otherwise you'll go mad down here. Moore could always use strong hands for gathering food and supplies. And alcohol for the waypoint? Don't be like that, kid. Just see Moore, and he'll tell you what needs to be done, okay? Here, take 20 bucks. It's the last of my drinking money, so use it wisely, huh? Alright. Well, there we go. Let's talk to Stone. Hey, son. What'll it be? Do you know my dad well? Your father was a good man, but not a drinker. Sure, he'd pass by sometimes, but he was no regular Joe like these. What do you sell here? Anything that's collected from the surface, and I try to brew my own special stuff, but with supplies the way they are, it's not easy. What do you make? Potato moonshine, rice wine, anything I can ferment and turn into booze. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. Any rumors? Well, rumor is Moore wants to connect to Fort Union and other place survivors are hiding up north. I think the hub doesn't have long left. It wasn't designed for these quakes. Moore's looking for a way out to save his hide, but that's what I reckon. Interesting. Sure, stop by. Maybe even buy a drink. If you're after gossip and information, the bar's the place to get it. I might have something for you in a while. Look after yourself, son. What's up, drunkard? How you doing? Everything okay? Why do you care? What can you do anyways? Luke, it's your son, right? What happened to him? My brave boy, he just wanted to help. Luke joined the hub militia. Wanted to give back to the community, and now he's gone. He must be your age. It was his 20th birthday last month. 20 years in this rat-infested hole in the ground. If I can get outside, maybe I could help. I could try and find him. What? You do that for me? Yeah, I'll find him. I don't know, he's been missing for five days and that bastard Moore won't do anything about it. They sent him out to explore an old gas station north of here. It was his first mission. It wasn't supposed to be far. Well, it might not have been far. The question here is not of length, but of danger. I mean, it could be not far away if there's dudes with- Let me talk to Firearm. Yeah, let's talk to this terrifying individual. What are you looking at, kid? You lose your tongue to a mutant? You don't look like your hub militia. I work for myself, kid. Just making a stop to resupply. What's the surface like? It's beautiful when it's your first time. Feel that sun beating down on you? But it's dangerous. You ever heard of Mana Wars? That's some kind of mutant? Nah, kid, it's an alien. Those things will fry your brain in a heartbeat. You see much action? You try to avoid it, kid. How do you think I've got to live so long out there? It takes a real wit to stay alive in the wastes. You go around shooting your gun off and you're gonna wind up as desert food. So long, kid. Come back when you can handle yourself and I might have a little job. Alright then. I mean, I got a backpack right now, which is pretty dope. I don't know if that could help with your job. If it's just like carrying stuff around, I can make that happen. The waypoint. What's on the third floor? We've got medical suppliers. We've got woo, weapon suppliers. Yes, please. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Let me see your wares. So what do you have? We have pneumatic ammo. Oh, we can get like zip guns and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, what else can we have? We've got 22 ammo. 762 armor kit. We've got oil cans, an army canteen. We can also sell stuff if we wanted to, but not knowing what's useful and what isn't. I'm going to stay away from selling anything for right now. It doesn't look like we can buy guns or anything else anyway, so let's check some of these alcoves and see. I shouldn't enter other people's rooms without permission. Yes, you should, because that's how you get the biggest amount of treasure. Like, where's the cutoff point? Clearly, you tried to enter C. You just wandered into this room. I need a multi-tool to open this. So we got electronics on that side. We got antibiotics right there. Is that the max we can carry, or are we all full up a cardboard box? What do you have? It looks like that's not the max we can carry. I think we can actually scan through here. Yeah, we got all kinds of goodies hanging out here. Got a hole right there. I still don't see any bunnies or anything around. And while I am interested in doing the whole chubby bunny routine, I think that at the moment... Oh, I can't pick up that bottle. Never mind. Bottles and cans and just clap your hands and just clap your hands. Oh, a rabby plush toy. Okay, so there's numero uno. Wait for it. I hear something coming from the cave. Damn. What was that thing? Like it crawled out of Castlevania and threw a nightmare's ass. What's going on here? The aftermath of the earthquake opened up a cave system. Mutants are pouring through in waves. I've had to set up shifts to protect the area. It's a lot of manpower and more is pissed. I would, well, we expected another attack any minute. So long. 
I'm just gonna borrow some of your supplies in here. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna... Can I go in there or will I get owned if I go in there? I don't want to get owned right now, so I think I'm gonna hold off. Let's go talk to Moore. Maybe he'll give us like a machine gun or something. What's this guy doing? What are you doing? This isn't a place for kids. I'm sorry, I'll get going. Just don't touch anything. It'll likely blow your head off. Ooh. What do you think you're gonna do with that, huh? Put it down, kid. Oh, I thought I was gonna get a free gun. Damn it. Molotov bottles. They're covered in dust. I wonder if they'll ever get used. I need a multi-tool to open this. Hey, the firing range is for militia members only. So I guess I gotta join the militia first. Let's go join the militia. That sounds dope. Get ourselves a little bit of combat. Speed around here and actually accomplish something. See, now I feel like I'm actually moving at the speed that I wanted to be moving at. Maybe it just takes a while. Like, you gotta switch scenes before it adjusts, like, the speed. But this is a little too speedy, so I'm gonna lower it one more time. The struggle is real right now. I'm sorry for intruding. You must be busy. What is it, son? I'm here to work. You want to help the hub? I don't think your father would approve. Well, my father isn't here anymore, is he? If you want to join the hub militia, it's your right, but it's dangerous. I know the dangers, but what else is there to do? I'm not waiting for my old man to come back. Before you go anywhere, see Reigns at the armory. He'll give you field gear and training. When you're done, report back to me. I have a big job for you. I hope you're ready for it. Moore told me to find Reigns. Okay, so we already did that. we got to take the Reigns, or at least talk to the Reigns for right now. Some people talk, some people take. I don't know. I gotta talk to Charlie. We don't have time for Charlie's shenanigans right now. I'm trying to accomplish important stuff. Important survivor stuff. So can I go in any of these other rooms? Because I haven't seen any bunnies around like anywhere. Let's go back down to Reigns. I think he was down and in here, correct? Yeah, there he is. What can I do for you, kid? I don't have all day. Moore sent me to get my gear. I can't believe he's sending kids out into that wasteland. So you want to learn to fight, eh, new blood? There's all kinds of shit out there, boy, and combat's real simple. You live or you die. Take that pneumatic pistol and a box of bearings off the bench. Real weapons are rare. I build these myself. Good, huh? If you need to practice, enter the firing range and fire off a few shots. If there's nothing else, you should run back to more, new blood. Alright, let's get ourselves a gun. This all seems fairly arbitrary by comparison to where we were before, but... You know, apparently talking to more is what unlocks this. Can I get these over here? No. No Molotovs. Can I equip it now? How do I do that? Let's find out. I can't use it this way, okay. Well, what about, ah, oh, you just drag it, drive to equip the ammo too, or does it just do its thing? Ball bearings, you would assume those would be really hard to come by after a little while in the apocalypse. Like, ball bearings are kind of expensive. Choose a location to attack, find the enemy weak spot, and target it. So, click to start attack, click to stop the needle. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay, so that's a, that needle is tiny. Oh my god. So, is this costing me ammo? I hope this isn't costing me ammo right now. It looks like there's a little bit of lag, too. It actually stops after you click. So, do you click it? Can you shoot over here? You can shoot wherever you want to go? Okay. Damn, son. That's so fast. I wonder if it gets better. <laughs> you just missed, like, the last five shots. I'm as ready as I can. I guess you are. I guess we'll just continue since you're not going to let me shoot anymore. All right. Well then, this might get real, real nasty. That needle moves quick though. That needle moves real fast. I wasn't expecting that. It's all over the place. So can I go in here? I'm gonna go get myself killed real fast. Can I talk to this guy? All right, well let's save first. I'm gonna save because I think it's a smart idea. And then we're going to name this Hootenanny. Uh, Hootenanny, okay, that works. Hootenanny works for me too. Let's go. I wouldn't go in there. The area is dangerous. Militia personnel only. I am militia personnel. I'm the I am the personnel. Let me in there. I'm a person, and I'm ready to destroy. It is what I desire. Let it happen. I got my blue jeans of murder on. I'm ready to roll. My sweater of destruction. I guess we'll go talk to more then, because we got our gear. With Skokie, I take it you've returned from the armory. I've collected my field equipment from Reigns. Welcome to the militia, son. With these papers, you can now come and go from the hub on official duties. There's plenty of work out there for militia men, so you should ask around. You ready for your first job? I hope you're back for some work. I need good men. I think I'm ready. You ever heard of Fort Union? What is that, a military installation? It's just a place like the hub. There's a lot of survivors up there. We'd like to try and connect with Fort Union and create a safe trading network. Makes sense. Is Fort Union far from the hub? Not really, but there's a lot of dangerous terrain to cross. The subway will fix that. 
We had a unit thin out the oh, we had a mutant. We had a unit thin out the mutants there, but it'll still be dangerous. All right, what's the job? The subway is an underground tram system from the old days, and we need it running again. Sounds good. What do I need to do? There are three generators that need to be fixed. They just need turbine fuses, and they're good to go. Seems easy enough. The problem is finding them. They must have spares somewhere in the subway itself, and from what I understand, it's a sizable complex, so it'll take some exploring. What do you say about the mission? All right, I'll get it running. Fantastic. As soon as it's running, we can really open up communication with Fort Union. All right. It looks like we get something over here, like a better gun or... I don't know. Something that's going to help us out a little bit. It's odd that we didn't find any bunnies anywhere, because I really thought there would be more bunnies around. Maybe there's the general store? Anything I can tempt you with? You don't want to ask me that. Let's take a look right here. Got a multi-tool for $151. We don't have $151. There's a tent right there. Depends what you're into selling, but... I don't really have much to get rid of. Let's close this down. We'll talk to the little kid. My bunnies, I lost them all. Where'd you put them down? I don't know. I put them down for a second. They were gone. You found them? I won't be able to sleep knowing they're out there. Well, I found a rabbit. There you go. Hey, you found one. I'll never lose them again. Don't let them out of your sights. Why are you aiming a gun at the bunny? Target practice? It's a hard, hard world. Even the bunny must suffer in order for the commonwealth to succeed. I think I'll probably go up to the surface right now. Does this go... So, it seems like the actual movement differs depending on... Huh. Yeah, I think the game is like speeding up and slowing down, to be honest. I don't really know what controls that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I guess. Let's go down to the second floor real fast. There's that right there. The rabbits have got to be around here somewhere. So I'm just going to take a quick little look around. Just make sure that I haven't been unobservant. I'm sure I walked right by them at least once or twice. Nothing over there. I'm supposed to be finding bugs too, but I think those are from the surface maybe. I would hate to think that the bunnies are actually like way up on the surface somewhere. I don't think they wanted to let me go in any of these directions, so that is what it is. Okay, so we need a multi-tool for that. Are you going to let me do this? Oh, you will. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Seems to be well stocked on pipes. An emerald bug. Okay, so that's one of the things for our quest right there. I don't know why I'm filling my backpack with bugs for a little girl, but I guess I am. What is this? Pump 2? An old water pump, which looks dusty and old. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here right now. Dead Vanguard. He's been ripped in two, and it looks like he crawled here. After being ripped in two? I applaud you, sir. That was some man mode shit right there. We can get multiple emerald bugs. Oh, you can only have one of them. Okay. Well, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of the first episode of Dust Bowl. Oh, shit. What is that? Ow, it bit me! How unpleasant of you, sir. How unpleasant. Oh, I got you now. Got it for eight damage. Oh, we're about to get owned, aren't we? I think we're about to get owned. Where is its weak spot? Does it have a weak spot? If I target the head, that gets really, really small. Oh, man. Yeah, there's definitely a delay. Like, where you click and where it actually stops, it's not instantaneous. So you've actually got to click early. Like that right there. That's how you get it. We got a 17 critical right there. Looking pretty good. I don't know what the enemy's health is looking like, but we got to figure it out. Yeah, you got to click super early. That's actually something I would say needs to be shored up sooner rather than later because it's going to turn a lot of people off. Having to click early in order to get to land where you want because it actually has kind of like... It doesn't slide though. I don't think it's intended. I actually think it's just kind of... Unresponsive. It would be great if I could kill this thing. There we go. So what did we get? We got some rags, and what is that thing right there? It looks like we ripped off its scalp. What is that thing? A raw steak. It gives us six food, huh? Drinks a little bit low. So do I drag that onto myself, or do I just use it? Okay, so we got our thirst restored right there. Wow, you use a lot of thirst. Okay. Do we have any medical supplies? Anything like that? Hiding around here somewhere? Get my energy drink on real fast. And we've got rat on a stick down here. Wow, you got a big stomach, man. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep clicking that on up. I don't know how we heal ourselves, but we're going to have to figure it out. What does this do? We got bleach, we got rags. I bet you got to make band-aids and whatnot. 
This place seems like it might be a little bit dangerous. We just lost half of our health fighting one guy. But anyways, I will see you on the next episode of Dust Bowl. Hi, do everybody.